Hi everyone, this is Maticus, uh, the one of the owners and operators of Van Hearth. You might have seen me around uh, Vancouver running fireside tournaments and all that stuff. Today I am here with uh, the Jor dude. He is the Hearth he's part of the Hearthstone team for Complexity, and he's also a coach. He offers coaching lessons for players who want to improve their game, get to legend, and I believe some arena work as well. Yeah, I can yeah. help people with arena if they want to work on that. Yeah. And so just uh, just for today, we're we're kind of gonna go. We're gonna offer you guys a demonstration of uh, his services in terms of his coaching style and what you guys will receive if you decide to get lessons. I've only gotten to Legend a couple of times, and even then, I've only done it with aggro decks. So, for example, Zoo or Face Hunter or you know Undertaker Hunter when it was awesome back in the day, um, pre nerf. But uh, I will admit that one of my weaknesses in Hearthstone is. Uh, control decks, so things like Dragon Priest, Control Priest, Freeze Mage, Control Warrior. And today Jordan has offered to give me a free coaching session on uh, on the Freeze Mage because I'm just terrible at it. I've played it a couple times. My Mage class is only like level 39. I don't even have a, a Gold Frostbolt yet. So we're going to hopefully try to fix that today. Let's switch over to the Hearthstone screen. And here we have our basic Freeze Mage list. So Jordan, when, when a client comes to you and they book their lessons to you, one of the first things you do, do you go over deck lists with them? Like just to kind yeah. of uh, go over like what their game plan should be or? Yeah, usually um, I ask my clients what kind of deck they want to work on. Yeah. And then if they have an idea, then when we get on call, I'll look at their deck list and see what they're running and then give them suggestions, in my opinion, on their decks. Or I might ask them why they have certain cards in their deck. So... Um, so okay. We can look at this like deck right now. Yeah. So here's a standard freeze mage list. I just pulled this off the internet. And I'm not even sure if it's right. I made a couple of additions myself. I added like your standard, your ice lances, your frost bolts, uh, all that stuff. And you know, obviously there's an Alex Straz at the end. So yeah. what what's the first thing that you would recommend here? Well, like you said, this is more the standard one. Except right. I think most people would take out the foreground and the foreground torch for like a power blast if you're playing the standard one. Okay. Um, we can do that right now. In fact, pyro. No matches. Oh, you're in zero match. Of so. course. Yeah. Good thing I have a coach here to tell me about that, and I clicked on the stream too. Whoops. There we go. All right. So one so, pyro blast. So this would be like, this is the standard list that I usually play. Mm -hmm. um, some people do take out the power blast and have like second heal bot or Kona code. Um, some people would play around with like the loot hoarders or like one loot hoarder and two acolytes or they would have a uh, explosive sheep or something. Right, Instead in this case we don't have any sheeps at all. Yeah. Should I should I add some sheeps um, in here or the it, explosive sheep depends on the meta. If you see like a lot of aggro decks, say like paladins and zoo, then sheep would be better because right. you could play it early and clear the board earlier than Blizzard. But right now I would say the meta's more uh, slower. Like you see a lot of Reno Jackson decks. So I can so kind of Blizzard keep the list okay. here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in terms of, let's say we were running into a, a more aggressive meta, what cards would I sub out for an explosive sheep here, for, just as an uh, example? You, you could probably take out the blizzard because they both do two damage across the board. Right. So they're essentially the same thing, except you could play the sheep a lot earlier. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, are there any other suggestions you would make in terms of this uh, freeze mage list? Like, is the arch mage okay? I've seen some yeah. people run like Ronin or, or whatever. Ronin. No, our Antonidas is too important. Yeah. Like your most important cards are Antonidas, Alexstrasza, and your Emperor Thorson. Okay. Yeah. That's all we really need. Okay. Um, so with that in mind, uh, I I think Freeze Mage is that still considered a top a tier one deck at least according to Temple Storm? Do you know? Yeah, I think they rated it tier one. I probably would agree with it because a lot of people are playing slower decks, and Freeze Mage is really good against the slower metas. Um, now, a lot of the slower decks are running Reno Jackson, so if they do um, happen to draw into it by the time you Alex gather them and then they heal back up to 30, it could be a bit hard. Okay. But um, if you set up your board properly, and then you should be able to burn them out anyways, especially with the new kind of freeze mage list that's running around. And we could get... We could talk about that a little bit. Yeah, let's like let's the, actually get Reno a game Jackson. going here too. That's what that's what actually worries me too. Uh, the Reno Jacksons that are running around because there's a limited amount of damage that can come out of Freeze Mage. I'm kind of worried. Like, well, what happens yeah. if Reno comes out? It just negates everything that you've done, right? Yeah, so, especially if they play on like a huge turn where you set them up to like eight life by using all your burn. Um, 
Do you want to use this list or the Reno Jackson list? Let's, let's go with this one for now. I think it's a good standard. It's a good way to just kind of get our feet wet with everything. I think we can kind of go from there. Okay, sure. So let's go ahead and light up the match with one of our volunteers. Yeah. One of our other coaches, actually. So we're going to be playing it. It's Bolt. Yeah, It's Bolt. He's uh, UBC's Hearthstone director, one of the yeah, other local play players here. Yep. No longer anymore. He's a free agent, I believe. So, yeah, yeah that poor level 39 mage. <laughs> So far away from the Casual. goal possible. I, I know, I know. Yeah, I get the Medivh, but I don't want to have the cards to go with it. So one of the most important things when you're playing Medivh is you have to hit threat, the threat emote when you're going to kill them. Okay, yeah. that's the most important thing. Got it. Because he has the best threat in the game, I think, in my opinion. Mm. All right, so let's, let's. I think we're going to be demonstrating three games today. This is going to be the first one, and you guys can't see this on the stream right now, but we do have ourselves a deck tracker that's up at the same time, which is apparently showing the I zoo know, list. I don't know what a Doom Guard is doing in my <laughs> Druid deck, but uh, it's a new tech. Uh, okay, so let's let's talk about our opening hand for a second. We have okay. ourselves an Ice Block, Alex Strauss, and an Ice Lance. My first instinct is I should get rid of all three of these. Yeah, Alex Straza, sometimes you keep it in solo matchups. Like, if you're against a priest, I would even consider keeping Alex Straza. Or, right. like, against Control Warrior, where you need your big threats, you have to draw those cards. In this but case, against though. Druid, where they're going to be pressuring you constantly, I want to mulligan everything and look for things like Mad Scientists, um, Acolytes, Loot Hoarders. Um, those things that cycle through, and then you'll eventually draw into your big threats later. You never keep secrets with Freeze Mage. Um, there were an argument before when Patron was really prevalent on the ladder yep. that you would keep your secrets because you would be playing fatigue game and you don't want to pull them from your scientists. But gotcha. That's but not the case in here. In this case, yeah. yeah. So, okay, we're going to get rid of all three yeah. of these and see And Iceland doesn't here. really do much. Yeah, at least not really. We don't want to see that right away. So here we have a little bit of a better hand. We have, we have ourselves a Frostbolt, an Emperor, and a Healbot. Yeah. And, and a, a Loot, loot Hoarder. hoarder. Really Even good. better. So, we like, can't really do usually anything. when I do a coaching session with mm -hmm. someone, um, I always view their first game and not say anything. And then okay. after their first game, I would talk about things like they could have done better, or I ask them questions about stuff. So with this case, this is a demo. We're just right. going to go. We're just going to go with it right away. Yeah. So there's nothing I can do here, obviously. And yeah. I think one of the first things I'm expecting is like a turn one living roots or whatever. That's kind of what I would expect, but I don't know if that's what he would do against the freeze mage. He's burning his coin right away. Coin wild. Growth. Oh, for the wild growth. That means. Okay. So he's planning to play like a three drop, maybe. Yeah, I'm. I'm personally expecting something like a shade next yeah. turn. Or and we um, can't really do much about it. We just drop the loot hoarder. Yeah, and this is a like pretty like... place for itself. There's nothing else we can do. He's probably gonna either attack into it or yeah. maybe drop an aspirant, perhaps. Oh, There's the yeah. Shade for. Okay. Uh, ooh, there's another loot hoarder. Yeah, we just play that. So we kind of want to cycle that through. So we're kind of limited here, right, in terms yeah, of what we can do. Um, what about the Frostbolt? Is that what kind of threats should we? Uh, yeah, know, it really depends the on, on like if he had dropped, say like if he coined out Darnassus, mm -hmm. then he wants to set up like a three drop play with that kind of move. So I would consider like Frostbolting it just so he wastes his turn. Gotcha. Um, you would also like Frostbolt is more expendable against aggro matchups where you just want to survive the game. So like if they played a knife juggler, you would just Frostbolt it. Get it out of the way. Salt, yeah. Yeah. So in this case, I don't really need to use it. There's nothing well, to use it on you, anyways. Yeah. So you just drop an Acolyte here. Yeah. It's pretty good that we're drawing into our cycling cards. I think I only had one copy of the Acolyte. Yeah. There. One yeah, Acolyte, two Loot Hoarders. So um, you could run one. two Acolytes and one Loot Hoarder, but I find that Acolytes is a bit slower, and then um, it gives your opponent opportunities where you could overdraw, I find, a lot of the cases. Okay. So I prefer the two Loot Hoarders over two Acolytes, but it is a preference thing. So he wants to knock out my Acolyte right away, and the Acolyte gave us a Doomsayer. Yeah. And he dropped the Druid of the Claw. So we have a couple of options now, and my first thought is to fireball his Druid of the Claw, but that also gives us the ability we can drop a Frost Nova Doomsayer next turn. Yeah. Um, okay, so... Oh, he did attack, okay. You take a second to think about this. Um, yeah. And this is one of those, I, 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 this is why I'm not good at control games, because I don't stop to think, I just want to do stuff. Yeah, so, but. okay, if you use the fireball here, you'd be able to kill his 4-6, you could trade into your, into trade your 2 the, Yep, the um, order into that. The thing is, you are getting into your turn 6 next turn. Yep. 
So I kind of want to just play the Doomsayer Frost Nova. The reason is that it uses all your mana, first of all. Yep. If he doesn't have a Keeper of the Girl, then you get the board clear. Um, and then you get to play Emperor on an empty board. Of course, if he does have a Keeper, then Oops. we're going to get... We might, yeah, we're probably so, gonna get behind her. So in a case like this, though, should we just burn the loot hoarder anyways? If it's gonna, if if this, if Frost Nova Doomsayer is gonna be our move, should we pop the loot hoarder just to see what our next card is anyways? Yeah, I think so. Okay, let's at least. And I think do we should first. do the Doomsayer Frost Nova. Just, okay, it is the brisk, but if it goes off, then yeah, it's we, great. We have to force. We're, now we're kind of forcing. Yeah, we the, are in a we are in a bad matchup, an unfavorable matchup. So if we do go for the clear on the board. He's still going to have the, what, that one five five shade that's going to be smacking us, and yeah, we just can't really deal with it too much. Let's see yeah, we wouldn't be able here. to kill the five five shade after. So. There's nothing we can yeah. do really. So we kind of have to go for this play, and try to get the board temple with the doomsayer. Yeah, and so the next turn, the turn six, we're setting up for an emperor, but we still have ourselves a heal bot. We have a barrier in play. And he's just attacking for one. Oh, that's, yeah, that's really good. For us. Yeah, so he didn't play any yeah, no so minions at all. Everything. We get drop Emperor on an empty board. It could even survive two turns possibly. Like Emperor just forces him to like. He has to react. He, to he it, has right? to have like a swipe hero power, and that's going to be his entire turn next. Turn. Yeah. And Unless he wants to just play a minion. Like, and think, this is really good because this is turn seven, so oh, that he wants to play um, Ancient of Lore or Doctor Boom on this turn. So yeah, we even we we force him to play for Hold the force, sure. yeah. So he's gonna have to attack into that. The problem is like our hand is not that great, especially no. with that draw. Um and I would I think here you would just want to develop your board because the board is empty. So just play all your minions and yeah, as well do that, play right? the ice block ice barrier. So ice barrier, yeah. he has only one yeah, so we'll just play that. Yeah, and Do I would just throw out the heal drop bot. Drop the heal bot too? Yeah, I don't Before think there's... Because we've already burned a force of nature, mm -hmm. and we haven't seen a savage or anything like that yet. Yeah, and if you had a And his shades are gone, so we don't have to worry about his shades anymore. Yeah. Got it, okay. Because we are trying to look for our, like, an arcane intellect would be nice. Nope, did I not? I thought I took that out. Maybe didn't oh, save. Did save. I thought I... Okay, never mind. So we are playing with one of these cards. So one of the newer cards from League of Explorer. Yeah, so Whoops. Uh, so in a case like this, we have, let's see, two, well, we could three. count our damage that we have, right? Like, with Freeze Mage, we always want to count our damage and see how we can set up lethal and yeah. time. Five, so we have, let's see, three plus six is nine, 12, 12 15, plus 17. Yeah. Um, Still a little ways a bit far. and I think here we should just try to um, slow him down a bit, so like Fireball Ping and Boom. Oh, okay, so yeah. Fireball Ping, okay. Yeah, it's still pretty... Because we can't deal with it right now, so it's just going to be... It's just so much damage, right? Yeah. And then here, I don't think trading makes any sense, because the boombox could just throw guys. Exactly. So, so he's probably going to trade in damage anyways, into, so... Yeah. So let's put I some damage into him and yeah. dribble him down a bit further. So should there's we, some debate about using the Forgotten Torch here. Should we just toss a torch and just but the thing the is like afterwards? We or? want to draw Alex Strath and put him at 15, so if we do that... If we do put him at 15, then the damage right now is irrelevant. Right. So I would keep it right now. Also, you want to draw into like more important cards. So if you play the Forgotten Torch now, um, you have a chance that you might just draw the 6 damage torch instead. Yes, uh, Instead that's of a true. card that could actually do something. Like Alex or whichever. Yeah. Yeah. So we one Wrath, that's one. So we pulled one Wrath, we pulled the Living Roots, we pulled the Force. So he's starting to run a little bit low on options here, and we've got ourselves some extra insurance now mm -hmm. with... Uh, uh, with both of our secrets here. Wow. They're really good. Yeah. Just dodging those boom bots pretty well today. Guide my He's got another wild growth to draw, yeah. So it's aspirant. Is that something we should work on removing right now, or does that really uh, matter? Yeah, he already has like full mana, so it won't do anything if we yeah. kill it. Um, and we're not worried about like things like because it, it would help feed his his savage roar if he pulls it right. Yeah, that's true. So we could kill it. Um, oh, oh, nah, that's... we just do that. 
That's like the per- <laughs> it's like the perfect turn to do. Turn nine. Yeah. He only has a Darnassus on the board. Yeah. So you might as well just drop his face. Drop it. And, and what then do I would we do actually just the... kill his. Um, no, I would actually just go face here because he might have a BGH for the Alex anyways. Okay. So, so I want the extra damage in, especially because we're looking at our hand. We only have six damage burn from damage. our hand, right? Yeah. So all the extra damage from the heal bot is actually relevant. And he, we're not anywhere close to dying with him. This is a like, no. second force of nature. You have so a he lot has, of armor. So he's, he has to use that on his Augstraz, I, I, I assume. Okay. So now that he's out of force of nature, um, we only have to worry about that one Savage Roar. And that's really good for us. That takes away a lot of the pressure. Okay. That draw is really bad. but. So, I mean, now it's just... I may as well drop another one yeah, of these, right? Yeah, I might as well right? drop the barrier here. And then... Ping his face. Um, do we just lob the... Lob the torch at him and hope for six well, next turn because yeah that's true I would do it because it increases our chances of getting yeah. a six damage spell like we're your fireball or the cards. torch and then that would be lethal right yeah you have to have a and I guess we should, we should no we should on that, yeah we have right? to save on the frostbolt because okay. we might draw into an antonitis or uh, uh, we, or he might or an or ice, an ice lance. lance yeah even better so the war is not really relevant because. We don't have any minions that will ever be attacking his face now. Yeah, well, more importantly, where are my other draw spells? I don't think I've seen an Arcane Intellect yet. We've, yeah, those are in your deck, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I threw them in there. We've, <laughs> we've gone through our both Loot Hoarders, one Acolyte. Yeah, we went through all of our Cycling minions. Yeah, so, so where's our spells? Like, Down of the... Okay. But, um... I would actually just drop Four. the Thanos here because just to cycle through it. We don't really need the spell damage since uh, any six damage spell would kill him anyway. Yeah. And then um, if we just top deck one, like an Ice Lines or something, that still wouldn't be lethal with the spell damage. So. Fair enough. Okay, so let's see here. We're going to wait a bit. I thought about pinging the. Aww. Oh, uh, there goes that plan. <laughs> and now we should get a little bit concerned. Almost, anyways. So this is when we have to start looking at how much damage he could do to us on the board. Yep. And then see how we. Oh no, we just. Went. Okay, so if we didn't draw the fireball, yep. we would need to count how much damage he has on the board. We've been. How much damage he could do with things like Savage Roar. Right. And if we were able to survive that, then we wouldn't Frost Nova, and then we would Frost Nova the turn after to give us an extra turn. Should we play it out like, and just drop the Frost Nova anyways? Well, we we have lethal. Oh, we, I mean, we totally have lethal yeah. right now. In in any other case, we would totally just you know yeah, win right but, now. So, but but if we didn't have lethal, he would yeah. have four, eight, thirteen plus another another 10, 23, 24. So we wouldn't be dying. Which, he would have to have savage or Druidic Claw. Yeah, so, and we plus we also have that in the play. That would yeah, we also have two ice, ice blocks, one in play and one on board. So we yeah. would probably not frost nobody this turn. We would wait for like next turn. Gotcha. So it but buys it, us in this turn. case, should we just put yeah, him under misery? Yeah. Okay, let's just do that. There we, we have go. To him too. Oh, threaten? Yeah. There we go. Only three times we can manage. Okay, so that's one. Uh, Alright, and that's kind of what you what you guys are expecting when you when you guys get Jordan as your coach. So we kind of went over the just the basics, the turn by turn plays of uh, Freeze Mage. Yeah. Now we're going to be setting up for our second match here against should a we, different deck. Oh yes, actually, hang on. We should we should make that modification, the one that I forgot to do yeah. with the Pyroblast. So hang on a second here. I don't know why I didn't say. I thought I hit the save button, but I guess I didn't. Okay. Wait, so. is this a bug? Because the power blast is here. There's just no torch. Whoa! Wow. Did I use the? Is there, I don't think I have another freeze. Hang on. This is Temple Mage. This is totally different. Yeah, it was totally different. Yeah, yeah. This is okay. That's a totally different list. Okay. Well, anyways. <laughs> I don't know. Should we just uh, try okay. to make speaking from scratch? Barking. I guess. No. Well, that's, I guess it still works. I don't yeah, know. That, We'll just try it again. If we get the torch again, we'll get the torch again, and we can Maybe report to Pyro Blast later. is like glitched to be a torch. Yeah, let's try that Add it again here. Pyro Blast. Uh, are we keeping the Blood Mage as well? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's of course, okay. Of course. Okay, blood so Mage no, is no problem with that. Uh, no other changes no. to this list. Okay, let's get set up here. That is actually very bizarre. Hmm. I'll have to watch this again afterwards. Okay, so here's Freeze Mage number two. Then and Broad, please. <laughs> then Broad, please. He's just as enthusiastic in person as he is on his uh, on his videos. So, th so that last game went really well for us because the Doomsayer went off. I think that was the most important turn. Yeah, drawing the Doomsayer. Two shades and his Druidical. 
Uh, and now, so we're not playing a druid uh, this time. We're playing against a warlock deck. Uh, we okay. are drawing. We, we're on the draw here. We've also got the coin. So in a case like this, uh, my, so my first instinct is to since we're, I know we're, we're playing against a warlock. Yeah. Yeah. I want, I want to lose the flame strike. Yeah. I want to lose a fireball. Yeah. I don't. I want to keep these two. Um. Yes. I always most of the time I would keep arcane intellect. Doom Sayer depends on the matchup. Right. But in a case um, like this, since we're playing against the Warlock... Warlock, and, I would keep it, I think. Yeah. I yeah. think on the ladder, though, like, you don't know if they're playing Handlock or Zoo. Yeah, or Reno. Right, or Reno. So, I mean... Most of the time, Doomsayer, like, they normally have Owls. Some, like, if they're playing Reno, they're going to have Siphon Souls now. But right. if it is a Zoo Lock, then they can't deal with it if you drop it on, like, a turn 2 or turn 3 most of the time. So, I think it's fine to keep... And if it's Zoo, two. like, they have one Owl, so if you Frost Nova Doomsayer, most of the time it's going to go off. Yeah. So, um, if yeah. you get the Owl off, well, yeah. I mean, there's not much else we can really do about yeah, that anyways. Until, like, you keep most of the time. Gotcha, okay. Take one draw. Oh, this is actually not a... This is a pretty decent decent hand there. Thalmos, maybe not so much, but... That Thalmos voice as a loot hoarder here. <laughs> yeah, he does. Because the spell damage isn't relevant. So in a case like this, what do we want to burn our coin on, or do we want to save it? That's the thing I'm, uh, I'm, this is just I'm worried a two, about. One. You could just probably just pass the turn here. And just let it go, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah just, you can take the There's no damage. point really setting anything up at the moment. Mm -hmm. uh, let's I see. There's this block. Saying. He's got a Peddler. Oh, man. Dark Peddler is insane for Warlocks, too. So many good one mana cards. Yeah. Okay, so now we're on setting up. We're on turn two. We've got three potential mana available to us. Yeah. I think? My instinct is to drop this. Okay. That's my uh, instinct. If you just drop the Thanos here, you could kill it with the 2-2. Two, two. Right. So, I wouldn't drop the Thanos here. You, my two options would be either to ping his 2-1 or play the Doomsayer. Um, Doomsa if you play the Doomsayer, he clears the board. He can't play Imp Gang Boss next turn. Um, yeah, I slow him down for a turn, right? Yeah. He pretty much, like, if he wants to clear it, he would have to use an PO owl or something. Or an that, owl. Yeah. yeah. So, his turn's going to be really bad. And then it lets you just Arcane Intellect next turn for free. So, I would just drop the Doomsayer. Play the Doomsayer. Yeah. I'm. I'm always. This is something I don't do enough of. I'm always. I always have to drop Doomsayer with a Frost Nova or something yeah. like that. That's but what most people like, are used to. But like a turn two Doomsayer. It's really is, unlikely that he could clear it unless he has Dark Bomb or PO or mm -hmm. Owl. So he's just going to drop. So he drops an egg as That's insurance. That's good. Yeah. yeah. Gets a four four next turn. But the reason in here is that you're going to play Ar Arcane Intellect next turn, and then after that you're going to play. You have four mana. So if you didn't draw the Scientist, you would have uh, Thanos and Ping. So in a case like this, though, uh, probably we should probably play the intellect, get some cards, and see what we got, right? Yeah. Now I'm worried about the four four, but we still have a lot of yeah. life to work you with. Yeah. The scientist is also an option, but it's off curve. So I just draw here. While yeah. We have let's to see what we got. Maybe we get something else. Ooh. Okay. Well, I mean, one of them would have been nice, but now we got two of them. So. Yeah. Uh, what do we do in a case like this here? Pass. Yeah. I don't think there's anything we can. Always do have to do. remember to check your hand. How many cards you have? See if you. Yeah, I think that's one of the dangers because now we have nine cards in our hand. Yeah. And but next uh, time we're going to drop like two cards. So. Yeah. So we should be all right. So now we're on turn four. We we can set up for a a heal bot. Is that something we want to play right now or? Uh, I don't. If you just coin out the heal bot, what are you going to do on turn five? Like Nothing, we have yeah. two. We have two blizzard. Blizzard. So we might. Uh, coin Blizzard next turn. Instead, And okay. just like double Blizzard. So I think here we could just drop the Scientist and Thanos. The Scientist, just okay. Like oh, just go through them all. Yeah, thin out our deck a little bit here. That works. And then, this is really subtle, but like you would, like what you did, you played the Scientist first. Yeah. Just because the death rattles happen in order of what you played. So if he played some kind of AoE for some reason. And like a Hellfire, your, for example. Yeah, something then you want your Scientist to come out before you draw a card off your Thanos. Gotcha. Just so you don't draw the secret. Yeah, that's one of the little known uh, tricks for a lot of players. They don't they don't realize that the death rattle order usually goes off. Yeah, like, like they're playing. Just so because like... Thanos on the left, they just throw it out first. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so we're almost definitely going to be coining out Blizzard next turn. <laughs> almost definitely. I'm pretty sure we're definitely going to be doing. What, let's see what we get here. Yeah. yeah, and actually, this was a case where both minions died at the same time. Yeah, so we did manage to get the secret out first, and yeah. then we drew. Which and getting the barrier is actually good. It's always good to get barriers out earlier because mm -hmm. it's harder for them or it's easier for them to just keep popping you and not get the armor up right to redirect damage okay so now we have we've got six potential mana on the board and he's uh got a much more scarier board than mm -hmm. i expected he's actually got 10 on the board so 10 yeah so we should probably do something the coin blizzard's probably the play 
Yeah, I think that's the only move they could do. We could have played the heal bot, but that would have just, what, not really done much at yeah. all here. Jungler is just going to keep chunking at us. Exactly. So, uh, how much damage do we have? And we got three, four, so seven total. Eleven. Um, there egg. We also drew an Antonidas a couple turns ago, so we can set up for that in a few more turns. Yes. But we want to save that, I assume. Okay. So this board is not very good to Blizzard on, because you're killing a 4-2. And he's going to be generating And he's getting imps. a 4-4 four, four and an imp. Yeah. So you're so actually just putting, you're just reducing the power by one on the board. So Blizzard's not to play this turn. Um, Do we, we have... drop the Scientist at this point? Do we play a, one, of our, one of our removal options here? or um, Like, it's a little... Tough here. I'm just trying to figure. I'm I'm trying to figure what to do. Uh, how how about one of these? One of these secrets? I think a lot of different the things. Scienti we can do. The scientist is okay, but it dies to the two four. Oh, so I might okay. just drop the heal bot here. I think it's a fine heal bot turn. Drop the heal bot. Yeah, we'll and then we taking... can just pass because we're just taking six on the board, so we're, we're netting two life through this round of turns. Gotcha. I mean, he's going to be running. He will run the the imp gang boss into the. Ooh, never mind. Now it's going to die for sure. <sighs> So there goes that. Yeah, this is one of the... I think this is a personally a, a tougher matchup in general, playing a Freeze Mage against a, a Zoo, just because of the speed and the pressure that they can apply. Uh, so now we're hitting one of our crucial turns. We can drop an Antoninus. Is that something we want to do right now? Because no, it's, gonna it's going to die. Exactly. Instantly. We want to save it, right? We, we, we need some spells to go off with it at the same time. Uh, we have a Blizzard option at, at our disposal. And I know there's a Flame Strike in our deck somewhere, too. Yeah, but the blizzard just doesn't do much here. The blizzard would, well, it gives them what? Extra it gives spider, them extra it knocks spider, his... gives them an imp. Yeah, uh, gives them the... a four four. I think here, do we just... you want to play the scientist? Let's play this. Okay, so we'll play the scientist first. It's yeah. gonna. It's... I think you need to frostbolt the five three two. Okay. This takes out the majority of power on his board. Yeah, because this, this is the biggest yeah. threat, right? So yeah, and then you could just ping the one one. So go ahead and lose the 1-1 one, one here. So now you only have 6 power on board. That's fine. So yeah, 6 attack. So we're, we're okay for now. We've got a pair of Ice Lances too that, that can stall. We can't really quite use it on him yet. So normally Ice Lances, do you use them? Like, they should normally be saved to, to combine with the with the Archmage, right? Yeah, well, if you have to use it to stall out damage or stall out turns, right. then like you could do that, but... Ideally, you want to use it with your frost bolts and your antinitis. Just to get those extra fireballs. Yeah. For sure. Oh, and extra burn. Okay, let's see here. What did we get ourselves Can into? we hover over what he discarded from Doomguard again? Uh, Doomguard, he lost a Flame Imp okay. and a Void Terror, yeah. So that's, that's kind of important to know as well. Oh, okay. How much do we have here? Two, so three... Four, four, yeah, 11. How much damage do you have? 10, 14, 17, 18, 19. Oh, 10, 3, 17, 18? 18 damage? Uh, Ish. Yeah. Um, Not quite enough. I yet. think here you could actually just drop the Antonidas Ice Lance's Doom Guard. Okay. It makes it. Yeah, he has to find a way to somehow code Antonidas. He might have a PO or something. But yeah, that so PO is not going to our face. So we trade an Ice Lance for a Fireball. We get stall something out. So, okay, so we drop the Antoninus here. We'll burn one of our Ice Lance. Now, does it matter which Ice Lance I use in this case? Probably the Pleb one. What? The non gold oh. one. <laughs> the casual one. My yeah. bad. My it's bad. only going for Doom Guards for yeah. no damage. So. Okay, so let's go ahead and knock that out. So, we'll get, so now we got ourselves a Fireball. And, okay, so we have to force him. We have to force him to trade his stuff in. Like, he needs. He, like, an ideally, or he, ne or ideally a spell. he needs a PO. And uh, then if he's POing, he's going to PO. That's power game. overwhelming for those of you who are not quite familiar with Warlock yeah. speak. But uh, just in case. I guess he would put... I don't know if he would want to do it on his uh, in-game boss. He might want to play it on... He play. I would assume you'd play power overwhelming on the egg, wouldn't you? Maybe. But then That's what that... we want him to do. Like, we yeah. want to put more stuff in so we could get a blizzard. But in case like this, so he's going to switch into that. And the thing with Warlocks is that they're going to be using their hero power a lot. So Alex Strauss is actually not used offensively often against them. Okay. Like, some, a lot of times you need it for defense. Ooh, so now we have ourselves a lot of options here. Um, so we have 12, 17, 21 damage. 21, not close. I think we need a couple more options and oh, maybe some... Well, how many turns can we stall out? So he's got... We can stall one. He's got three, two, five, ten power on board. Yeah. So this turn... Um, 
I would. Oh, so my, okay. My first line of thought is to drop is to freeze his board and just play one of our secrets for. If you freeze his board, he's just going to get more min, more minions on his board. That's true. Yeah. But he can't. He can't do because like that. Right? The Rubian is four damage, right? And four he's damage. only got four damage here. So and when um, his spiders die, he'll yeah, pop up. I would just play the ice block, fireball his face and ping his face. Ice block, okay. Because he can't pop you this turn. No, there's no way he can force it uh, right away. So we'll go ahead and fireball that. Yeah, just ping his face. Yeah, you said one that you got off Phantom. Yeah, <laughs> that's kind of important. You want to make sure you don't give him too much information. Yeah. So we'll do that. Okay, let's go ahead and end the turn. So we have insurance for at least one turn. Um, yeah, we do have a Blizzard and a Flame Strike just for added insurance. So next turn, what do we have? We have three. 9, uh, 13, and 14. So we're just like a spell away. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, that other Iceland's been great, man. Oh well, doesn't matter. So what are we waiting for right now? So we're looking. Oh, another Doom Guard. This is oh, there goes his power overwhelming, yeah. Probably should have played it first. Yeah. Dude, he could have popped their secret. No, he would not have been able to pop our secret. Oh. Oh. Yeah, so far. Okay. Oh, just barely. He's not be able to pop us still. Oh, that's really good. That is very handy. Okay, so in a case like this, do we just want to go for the? Okay, wait. So we have thirteen damage in hand. We have thirteen damage. In and hand we could right survive now. two turns, right? Yeah. So we could just kill him by pinging. Yeah. So I would just ping. Ping him for one. Yeah. And then fireball. Yeah, he can't. He can't even clear his board for the low step here. No. So I just fireball his face and pass. <laughs> That's all we can really do. We, we should play. Next turn we have a, yeah because we might draw or another. Uh, actually, we we use both eyes lances, right? We did. We well, yeah, we just one. Adam, just so we may as well. Okay. You might as well just do it. Put him at one. He can't tap. He can't play any minions, and we're we can't. Pretty die, much so guaranteed lethal right yeah. now. He can't. Yeah. So that pretty much cuts him out. Like he has no other way to. Mm -hmm. Wow. So, even so even what? So what? Some people might have done is they might have gone for a safe route with Blizzard, Flame yeah. Strike, Try to up two turn board clears. But then if you look at how much damage you had in your hand and how many turns you could survive with by weaving in your hero power as well to the face, we actually had enough damage in our hand to ah, kill him. And he had to tap to find more answers, right? Right. 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 Yeah. Okay. All right. So again, that's a, just like a narrow characteristic of freeze mage. You just have to look at your damage, how many turns you can survive, and then plan out your turns ahead of time. Yeah, and I, I assume actually these, yeah. this is probably one of the more common matchups we'll see in the latter sense, especially with the debut of um, uh, Dark Peddler. Yeah. Zeus kind of made a comeback on the uh, in the uh, rank ladders right now. So now we're waiting for our final deck, which I believe uh, we've gone through Druid. We have played uh, against Warlock. Now the last one we have is. I want to say Paladin. Yep, Paladin. Okay. Now, Secrets Paladin is one of those decks where everyone thinks it's completely overpowered and everyone hates it for whatever reason. Uh, I personally don't think it's that bad, but that's just because I know how to... I played it myself extensively and I know how to dismantle the Christmas tree of Secrets. <laughs> that's the thing, you can't do anything about it. Right, exactly. This so, matchup should be favored for us again. Okay. Uh, so we just keep the loot hoarder. Yeah. Alex is too slow. This is it's Lens pretty. Is too slow. It, yeah, you, it's pretty common that you want to yeah. get rid of these guys. Loot hoarder could trade into a minion and draw you a card. Like one of their silver hand regents. Yeah. Or I was gonna mention. Yeah. So the warlock matchups, almost every matchup against warlock freeze mage is favored for because um, again the hero power and then just the way that the decks interact with each other. Gotcha. Freeze mage has advantage um, because. Warlocks tend to not have like jewel combos where they could just burst you out of nowhere. They have so, to get a board and build up against you. Oh, there's and our Pyroblast. So, okay. Huh. That was a weird bug. Okay. Yeah. Uh, anyways, aside from that, so this is Secret Paladin. What kind of cards are we kind of looking for here? Like, it's just a Basically, standard Freeze Mage it's set? Like, it's kind of like Zoo because Secret Paladin is similar to Zoo in the fact that they just try to build a board against you. Mm -hmm. So, um, in a case like in this, you probably drop the loot away. Yeah, right? Okay, sure. Sure. okay, but aside from uh, that, you like, just want to be able to. Deal with the board early on, stall it out to the late game, and then be able to just burn them out because they don't have those heals. Like just like Zoo, they don't have those heals. No, but they do have that giant, you know, nine A mysterious challenger, which I assume most yeah. people are afraid of, right? So, ooh, wow. Uh, uh, is this where I dropped the? No, Doomsayer in this matchup is almost always going to go off with the Frost Nova, but okay, so um, I wouldn't it? play it here because 
he has a knife juggler out this time, so it's not like the warlock matchup. And there's a chance yeah, he might hit. Yeah, and the... he could probably have muster for battle next turn. Oh, yeah. for sure. Okay. So I would probably just uh, frost nova his three or. Do we we have ourselves an ice block, and we also can just ping one of his spiders, or we can I easily think the burn frost a frostball hit three too, because it's not only dealing with three damage of the knife juggler. But if he plays muster, that's an extra three damage that we're saving. Damage. Yeah. Right. Okay. So let's so get it's that like out of the pretty way. much two mana for six life. Gotcha. That's perfect. Like, holy light. Up. Red alert. So here we just have to look at how we're going to curve out our next few turns based on the hand we have. So we have two secrets. We're probably probably going to be playing one next turn, and then so we just should we should just weave in our pings and just ping it. Do we one ping here. one of his one ones? Yeah. Okay. Um, I would, I'd still probably hold on to the Doomsayer here, because yeah. we're not setting up for anything. Like, last time we were setting up for, like, an Arcan Intellect, but... Gotcha. Turn 5 is just Ice Barrier ping. Blessing of Kings. So the Blessing of Kings here, he's probably going to lose it on his, uh, 6-6. Six, six. Yeah. Unfortunate. So now we have to ice barrier and just ping off the shield. Do we use the barrier or the block? The barrier, the barrier. it's easier to play right now. Okay, and we just go ahead and ping off the shield? Yeah, because we probably have to fireball it next turn. Yeah, so save that. So the barrier is going to eat all of this damage. Yeah, basically just stall that to turn. Oh, no. He's got some sort of cock oh, hammer here. That went on to 6-6. Six, six. It wouldn't have mattered too much because we could still ping fireball, but... Alright, so the cog hammer's out, his six is out. It's being protected by the one one. Yeah, but we're n pretty much never attacking. So here I would probably just drop the fireball on his six six and play the scientist. So let's see here. Uh just ping off the one one. No, 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 no. no. Fireball the six six. Sorry, fireball the six six first. And drop the scientist. Drop the scientist. What Oh, oh, what just happened here? Happen. Return to life with one health, which is okay. I guess it's not not a big yeah, deal, but it's just annoying. The so we can get the secret up. Then okay. Who am I? None of your business. So he's got a scientist out. He's got his full secrets out, but he doesn't have like four of them as he normally do. Mm -hmm. Kind of curious as to what they might be here. Um, I think it's Noble Sack, Avenge, and. Probably. He doesn't play Cop Spirit. Okay, so we took that out. I think it could be a Repentance. Redemption again, maybe? It could be. Okay. Um, to start off the turn. Do you want to burn the pin here, or. Whoops. One second. Yeah, so now we got ourselves uh, a couple of options we can do. Uh, we have another fireball that's up. We can burn the challenger. Yeah. Um, here I would just fireball his six six first. Because yeah. would that pop? Because if it's redemption, then we can ping it off. Okay, so let's we'll take that out right now and see what secret activates here. Uh, Venge goes off, and it's going to go on his spider. Let's see. Wow, that's kind of that's in a tough spot now. Do we want to ping one of these shields too, or drop a block? Perhaps? I would ping it. I would ping it. Ping the spider? Yeah. We want to knock off that shield. Okay, do we want to run the scientist into it and just get one of our own secrets? Probably not yet. Actually, yeah. Because we kind of, yeah, I think we I kind would. of need one. Because we need the, Oh, well, it doesn't matter. It's the yeah, it's almost that. That's okay. Uh, so there we knew that. that was going to happen. Yeah. Well, that means the last one is going to be a... <laughs> Don't want to die here. Oh, yeah. Wait, so it's the last secret. Oh, yeah, repentance. So, uh, I don't think he runs Sacred Trial. <laughs> yeah, it's a repentance. Body Creeper, yeah. So we have to set up for... Okay, we've I mean, we got to do something now. We have enough for, like, maybe one turn. Uh, I don't think it's safe to drop the Doomsayer either. Well, it is now. Well, it would be, but he has Repentance up. Oh, I see. So... And the, fro and the Frost Nova doesn't quite stop him. I think here you would just want to... We can't use that. that. This is a tough call here. The, the, so the reason why we don't want to play the I would Frost, Frost Nova, Nova I would Frost Nova and just ping his shield off. 
Frost on the Demon Shield or, off? No, ping the 3 5. Ping the 3 5? And that puts it in range of the Flame Strike yeah, for next turn? Yeah, okay. not Snowball. It's just all a turn. Okay. Let's go ahead and end here. Yeah. He might attack with his weapon, so then uh, we could Doomsayer after. But I think next turn we want to uh, play the Alex Drazo since we're not getting the club. Oh no, he, he drops a Tyrion. <sighs> yeah, he just played. Did he play Dr. Boone? Yeah, I don't think he did, so. A little bit of time for that. Oh. Now, do we want to play defensive Alex Stress at this point? So or do you want to hold nine, on to it? 9, 14. So he could pop us no matter what. Yeah, he can easily if burn it. If we set it. the fireball, we would have been able to set lethal, but... You can flame strike one of these. Ping. I think what we should do is... Or draw for some options. <laughs> no. Because we can survive two turns right now. Between this and this, right? Where I feel that we're kind of limited in terms of what we can or cannot do. Do we still have a fireball in the deck? I don't think we burned... Or we burned... We burned one. Uh, yeah, we definitely burned one. Yeah. No, we burned both because we did on a 6-6. You're six, right. Six. Yeah, we did on both. On both two six, six. So I think this one is not going quite the way we want it to, but, I mean, that's just kind of how it goes, right? So... I think we should Alex its face. Alex's face, the dropping he, down a bit. Yeah, the way he plays to Alex's face. Next okay. turn, because we're not dead this turn, next turn we could and play... And there's the Repentance. Yeah. So next turn we could play Arcane Intellect, hopefully find like the second Frost Nova, or... Uh, yeah, we kind of need that. How many cards we have left in our deck? 16 yeah. cards, so it's going to be a little tricky here. The True Silver isn't going to help us much at all either. Yeah. Oh my. There we go, so we're going to play that. He's gonna play, yeah, he's gonna attack for four, and then trip our secret. Uh, do we even have enough mana to play everything? I guess not. Because we have to play the ice block no matter what now. Yeah. Let's see here. Well, we draw first. Okay. We actually don't have to technically play the block. But we'll see. We'll see what our options are. So, so we always draw first. Arcane Analyte first, yeah. If no matter what, draw first. Anyways. Um, well, the blizzard stalls on his board, but we're still, uh, he still has a weapon equipped. Mm -hmm. So we have to I play I think we have to play the block, don't block. we? Yeah. We could play the scientist. The no, sci the barrier doesn't do anything here. Yeah, it won't do anything Like, more. we could set it up where, um... So we'll just play the yeah, just play, play the scientist. Should we ping anything too? May yeah, as well, we right? ping his face. Or just him, or knock out one of his shields, perhaps? The winning plays the face. Face? Yeah. All right. Let's go for it. We have to win somehow. Yeah, we only that's have true. Blast. We, yeah, we, we burned we have, our fireballs. We have like I think. one frost bolt, right? Yeah, we or lost one or two frost bolts. No, we burned one frost bolt on the knife juggler oh, right yeah. away, so we so down we have, one. We have a frost bolt and two ice lances mm -hmm. and a fire blast. So the only way we could win is we definitely need a frost. Nova so this. For sure. mm -hmm. I think a Frost Nova, a Doomsday, and an Ice Barrier would help, would help us out a little bit. Well, we have to draw into but a burn. That too. Okay, oh, so that's, that's not one. helping it. Okay, um, so what does that put him at here? So we could Blizzard and then play the... Um, I'm just trying to think Blizzard and Ice Barrier is the only way. Yeah, we have to survive, yeah. right? Yeah. So Blizzard. And just the that kills a spell. Yeah, the barrier. See okay. Where going. That's gonna go on his frozen guys, so that's good. So we're gonna drop a barrier. Mm -hmm. Do we wanna use our ice or do we wanna sit on it? No, we have to use it we to have, win. We have to save it, okay. Yeah. So this buys us exactly. We die consecrate, but otherwise yeah. we have two life right Yeah, so we got four, one, one, he's got six oh, potential damage. One mm -hmm. consecration will probably kill us if he has it. So if we drew frost. Yeah, if we draw a frost bolt, that gives us three. We have to we have to draw exactly into like arcane intellect into frost nova frost bolt. We play the doomsayer, and this we burn him down and freeze his board, and then we power blast, and that's the only. That's way the way. only way we can do it. Yeah. yeah. That's so we, a have very to draw, we have to start <laughs> off by drawing arcane intellect to draw into those two cards. We have to get really lucky, is what you're telling me right now. Yeah. And unfortunately, but, we're not well, lucky at all. We just. Play the Thanos and ping it down. Ping our own Thanos, see what we draw. Yeah, let's see what we get. May as well just okay. test and see what we have here. Uh, I don't think that's enough. 
Not no, even just, close. No, no. just dead. No. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Let's just drop a doomsday for fun. May as well. Yeah, sure. Uh, let's go ahead and freeze him. And threaten. Yeah. yeah, unfortunately, so, you know, out of three matches, you're bound to lose a couple, right? So mm -hmm. this is the secret paladin matchup. It's it's a little... It can go either way, I think, but... Uh, unfortunately, we just we need to draw certain cards, and that's just kind of how Hearthstone goes. So, uh, that's our demonstration for Freeze Mage. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, Jordan, is there anything else you want to add? So, where can they find you? So you could... If you guys are interested in coaching, you could go through vanhart.com to set that up, yep. or you could just message me directly either. And if you look through, at the YouTube you description below, you could PM me through Twitter. My p Twitter is Cole C O L underscore the Jord dude, or you can message me on Twitch, and then send me a message in a personal message, and I normally get back to those. Um, other than that, if you go on my Twitter, you can find my business email and you can email me there too. Yeah, we'll, we'll also have all the details in the video description below, even under wherever the heck this, you know, just look down. We'll, we'll have that information there. Uh, for now, thanks everyone for watching. Uh, we'll have some more coaching videos in the future. For, uh, for, more, uh, for more news, updates and stuff, we have the 2016 Hearthstone season that's uh, just getting underway here. So, you know, stay tuned to VanHearth.com for more tournaments and events. Uh, especially for those awesome WCS points that I, I know you of all people are especially looking forward to. Yeah. So, catch us next time.